Okay, so everything's uh, going fine. Uh, the reason why it was a bit laggy because I zoom in a bit on you know, the higher map, so the emulator would not support that high uh, amount. So I have such a large, large, large numbers of troops and also a lot of city as well. So the best way to do it is that I will strike everyone at the same time. We also got the Mameluke Cavalry, so this one is really good. You know why? Because it's had a plunder skill. So the plunder skill is that restores some HP after enemy, after defeating an enemy. So which means that if you kill them, you will get a HP as well. So it's best to have that one. So I will just move the troops here and Ankara as well. Uh, there will be some good chances that we are going to win uh, uh, against everyone. Uh, but by the way, don't forget to upgrade your city. We're going to do that. We're going to need a lot of money. That's the best way to do it. Most people would take uh, see this as laziness. Most people would think that oh, it's useless. But don't, don't, don't just assume. Okay, you gotta work on your own. Okay, so I have so many riflemen, which is good against uh, small artillerys. Sorry, uh, riflemen. Yeah, small artillerys. Yeah, that's that's also great. I got Molkate, so I also got the other one, which is grenadiers. Uh, we'll get Carl here and send Carl against this general. So I will try to take the Russian all as fast as I can so that we don't have to fight uh, another front against uh, the Austrian Empire. Okay, exit. Maybe I can just clear this guy because I know that they will be late and it's useless to have them. Uh, I know it's a. Uh, I most people will say, "Oh my God, it's a bad tactic." I know, I know, it's bad, but it's best to do that. Enter because you know I want to kind of uh, get to make sure that we don't need to move a lot of troops at the same time many times. So it's best that we do this, okay? So uh, we're gonna take the city here. Okay, we can also have some space. You can see here. Uh, how many turns the Austrian will go to war? Three turns. So we're gonna need to send in some money. Send protocol so that they will. I think they're gonna attack anyway, so just let them be. We don't want to interfere. We're gonna fight them anyways. So uh, upgrade the facility. Yes, production material. We need a lot of money. We need so many, so many money. Okay, uh, this one no needed. We also need to upgrade our technology as well, uh, but I think that it's not yet at the point where I think uh, we should uh, we should first save money, attack some city, and after we gain our empire, we will try to uh, get uh, things done. You know, like get all the technology and stuff. Okay, so we're gonna deal with the first counter from the Russians. Okay, I'm gonna stick into this. Okay, we got another one. And yes, we are having some heavy problem here. Okay. Okay. And turn. Good. So this is kind of I, actually there's another ver two version of conquest, but I don't want to play against uh, American. I don't want to you know like have all the largest conquests. I don't want that. So I will just enjoy this. So I will need another generals. Okay, but I want to take this guy first. Good. Uh, we're gonna wait until we uh, fight against them. Upgrade the city. Okay. Okay, so we got the British here. I think it's gonna be a tough thing to deal with. Uh, okay, so we got everything done. Almost, almost. We gotta have a look over here. Okay, we gotta upgrade that stuff. That's good. So now. It's time that we deal uh, with the cavalry. So don't try to mess up with the Russian cavalry. They are so good with their cavalry and stuff. So I suggest that we should be more defensive. And uh, I want to get a artillery now, which I can deploy at the southern parts at Greece. Because you know we all know that the British Empire will try to take uh, southern city. So I will get this done. Yeah, you can tell right here. They will also try to get some men off the shore. So I will defend that one. Okay, you can see here it's clear evidence that they really want to uh, push to the south like they did 
want to push to the north. So, best way to do it is we going to bombard them as much as we can. Okay. And another problem is the Austrians. We're gonna deal with them later. Actually, it's gonna be yeah the next turn. We're gonna fight against them too. So be prepared. We only have a few men. How many general do I have? One, two, three. I got three. I got cavalry, artillery, and infantry. Okay, that's pretty badass. And turn. We got to take pass. Okay, so now they also got the military boost. Okay, so they enter the war now. Uh, oh, we can stay long. Okay. Wish for the best. Okay, good. So that's 85 damage. I don't think good. Oh, even the Russian generals try to sneak in, huh? That's tricky. Okay, I will get a rifleman ready. Okay, so just get this guy ready for the war. Oh wait, I turn off the sound. Okay. Okay, rifleman, uh, some part of these, and be useful again. Naval invasion, get these guys ready at the front. Line infantry. Okay, get everyone ready. I know there's gonna be a lot of troops, and the game will be lag as well. But that's fine, I'm gonna try to manage. Okay, so it looks like the British Empire, they are going to strike everything they want. That's not, not gonna happen here. Okay, good. Good, good. Uh, oh, we also have these. Uh, the spy thing. So let's see, what do we need to do? Uh, we think we, our objective is to take the city, not killing the enemy. Killing the enemy would also be a great uh, choice, but you cannot just take artillery to take out an infantry that is illogical. So I suggest the best way to do it is we are, are you know, like changing targets. If we can change our targets, we can do our best. Okay, so, uh... I'm gonna try to come back down south. And be more defensive. Uh, I wish I, uh, I was, you know, like... The only thing he can do now is go back to the sea. So there's not much to see here. Let's just upgrade. Okay. Good, so the best way, yeah, increase. We have so many sea. Good. Production starting. Okay, industrials, good. So we have increased and also rapidly advance our industrials uh, at the southern part because there's no other nation that we're gonna fear so it won't be that kind of problem okay so this guy joined the war very good and looks like they really desperate to take Istanbul which I think is a huge mistake okay I also need to take against uh, some part of these Austrians small invasion actually they have taken parts of it already I'll just try to sneak in the city, that would be a great choice. Okay, and we'll get light infantry down there. Uh, we'll also need to take some uh, rescue. Very nice, very nice. Even Lancer did a pretty good job. Okay, good, good. 
good. So we're gonna get another Lancers. Uh, our main objective right now is try to take Krush and uh, Hope. I know uh, it, it, most of you guys will say, oh, why don't I just take the enemy right now? I know, we, we might take it, but not right now. Okay, so this one's gonna fall anyway. And then another one is the line infantry again, very good. And here, this enemy is here. And this guy's gonna die. Yep, good. So now we're going back, okay? So we're gonna try to do the uh, come back and go in. I think it's is it called Guerrilla Warfare. Yeah, Guerrilla Warfare would be a great choice. Enter. Guerrilla Warfare, uh, you know, like kind of. You attack and then you stop and then you attack again and then you don't have any, you know, like you, you also have a sneak attack. Okay, Sicily. Oh, we need to take on the palace as well. British try to take Istanbul, they're desperate to do that, then I'm desperate to defend it as well. Okay, so, uh, what's next? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I can sneak in. Just another tactics. Okay, I think we can, yeah. So we're gonna take this, and we're gonna try to sneak in. Uh, I think they are tricked by our forces. Like I said, try to focus on the city. Uh, if you are artillery, focus on the city. And if you are a infantry, focus on enemies or cavalry. Okay, that's 63. That's and this one here, most people would get confused. You can see, now they are spawning a lot of artillery. Why? Because they want to take our city. However, we got a rifleman station in the city, which means that the chance of taking out our enemies is really low, and we still have a better chance to defend. So we'll get another rifleman and another rifleman. Most people would say that it would be a stupid thing to do, uh, also a waste of games. But I think that this is one of the greatest things that East Tech have invented, and want to make sure that we enjoy the concept of having fun. Good, good, good. Okay, we're gonna try to take the city here all along. As you can see, they will change their uh, their points here. So they will, they will change their directions. Okay, and turn. Okay, so the French, they are doing okay, I guess. Uh, looks like there are some parts that need to be done as well. So we're gonna do 20 turns only. I don't want to prolong because uh, the it might crash. Okay, gonna take this. Good 65 damage. I like that. Uh, gonna take another one, which is Budapest. More importantly, I wanna try to get rid of every single one of the Austrian troops. So now they are finally on their run. They can no longer hold against us. So I, I think now it's best. Okay. And we are so many as well. So I will try to uh, lock down some of it or try to uh, put some of them. It would be a waste of time. Okay, that's good. Take another one. We can also take this one as well. However, we are now facing a huge threat from the Russian SAR cannon. Uh, we need to change our directions uh, fast. I'm gonna go back to the northern one. Uh, and deal with the cavalry because the cavalry have no weapons. Take this one in. We'll get a upgrade city. Upgrade this one. Get a rifleman. Go back to this one. Get heal. Uh, okay. And take out this Russian generals here. Very nice. You can see here after I try to attack that one, they summon uh, Duruba. Duruba. Oh my God! I need to check the Google now. Is uh, male or female? Male or female? Duruva. Russian general. Duruva. Nets nye nadezia Duruva. Oh! Oh shit! Nadezhya Andreevina Durova, also known as Alexander Durov, Alexander Zokolov, Alexander Andreevich Alexandrov, 
was a woman who, while disguised as a man, became a decorated soldier in the Russian cavalry during the Napoleonic War. She was the first known female officer in Russian military. Her memoir, The Cavalry Maiden, is a significant document of its era because few junior officers of Napoleonic Wars published their experience and it's and because of one of earliest autobiographies of the Russian language. Okay. Oh, it's a lady. Nice. Well, I will check you later. Okay, so she had some precision strike, surprise strike, also a plane fighting. That would be a good starter uh, packs of a general. Yeah, why not? Uh, anyways, uh, go back to our one. I'm gonna build a temple. You know why? I want to heal. Yeah, people would say, oh, it's a, a, a useless thing. Yeah, it was, and now it's good because it's like buff it already. Anyways, uh, our next thing to do is we need to take out these son of a bitch. Okay. Also need to defend this one. Okay. End turn. Okay, so Sadina finally attack. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Mm, Serena, okay, I will come down. No, no, just take this one. So the Ruba is a lady, damn. That's why I have some, you know, uh, thought that she might be a lady. And finally, okay, okay. So since this one have the uh, canvas ten, restore HP by twenty per round. So that would be a great thing. Uh, we don't need. Sometimes we do need tempo. It depends on our experience. Take the, the city here. Yeah, I think we just need a few strikes. Good, so we have to hang another one. So, rifleman is good against artillery and also cavalry. So, remember that I might do a video talking about the uh, counter damage as well. Uh, I will try to see what we can do. Anyways, try to. <coughs> sorry. Uh, try to take Budapest. Okay. Very nice. We can just end this quickly uh, if we are fast enough. Okay, so research. Sultan Guard. Mobilization order. You can do that. Not interested. Uh, I want to get a promotion. And turn. Okay, Poland is defeated. Okay, rest in peace. Okay, so, uh, defensive game. Get upgraded city, get the uh, free gates, and upgrade to the Sultan Guards. We need that. Okay, we have some money now, so we need to upgrade a thing, uh, get things way more better. We're gonna try to take Vienna as well. Okay, did you know that the uh, capital of Vienna, sorry, the capital of Austria was in Vienna, it was Burgram. So, uh, back in the day when I was playing Rise of Nation, you guys ever play Rise of Nation? Rise of Nation is also a strategy game uh, by Microsoft, it was a good game. And Rise of Nation, uh, thrown in Patriots, there was uh, a campaign called Napoleon Campaign, and I did so great that I had the chance to see one of the oldest city which is the Wargram. So Wargram is like a def uh, defensive city of uh, the enemies of the Austrians. Okay, so they claim another one which is a, a Bagration. So yeah, they spawned so many generals. Should have spawned us. Okay, we're gonna take them one by one. Okay, so that's it. A rip off. Very nice. Uh, let's see. When defensive cards disappear, fortress are unable to attack. Okay. Okay, let's see what I can do with this one. Yeah, very nice. And turn. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so Grimm Fairy Tales. Jacob Grimm and William Grimm collect and process German folk literature. Grimm Fairy Tales were formerly published. 
Uh, in Cambodia, we have something called the tale, the tale of the old, the old tale, something like that, and it tells uh, various different tales of, uh, you know, the, our culture, but uh, like in Hinduism, in Hinduism, because people feel uh, back then people was uh, Hindus, there was not uh, Buddhism like these days. Okay, so we're going back, back and forth, back and forth. You can see how effective this is to play as uh, using a Mamluk. You can see the HP is so damn good that you don't need to do anything. I don't have HP for this guy, I guess. Oh yeah, I do. I do, but I have H uh, 30%. 30 points, sorry. So that would, would be a good start. Okay. So I just lost the city against the Russian. But I will claim it back later on when I blitzkrieg to the southern parts. Okay, I just need Carl to be more regenerated. And I'm gonna take straight to Vienna. So Vienna is also a good start. Uh, to retake this, uh, take their main capital, they will lost their morale. Definitely gonna lose their morale. So we're gonna do that. Okay. Very nice, very nice. So I'm gonna try to cut back into Cluj and Apolga. Okay, okay, okay. So, mm, okay. Promotion, Masena. Thank you. Enter. Okay. So Napoleon is doing not so good. Uh, the British just landed again. I think we have the first V Day ever seen. Okay, I'm gonna try to take Vienna. So having a uh, troops uh, defending uh, because the damage will only affect the the, the fortifications, not the troops. So don't get confused with this concept. It, ha it has been around for a while, but most people still think it's a good thing to be more defensive. I know it's, it's, it's okay, but sometimes it's useless. Let's go back, Carl. Nice. Okay, that even have a small counter attack. Okay, good. Uh, okay, I will get a... Oh, we have some upgrades here. So many upgrades. Let's get a rifleman. Let's get a spy. City, okay. Maybe after using that, the, uh, the city would be more less defensive and easily broken. Okay, so we are moving back to our city. So the Russian keep on spamming. So whenever we got Voronstrov, the Lion Medal, okay, okay, I get that. 53. Rushing everyone here. Okay, we need to be more defensive as well. And turn. Uh, at least Egypt try to defend our shores. Okay, so Saxony is defeated. Okay, good, good. Uh, I'm gonna try to you know do my best to finish uh, the uh, conquest, but I'm not trying to uh, overdo it because most people don't really have time to watch. Okay, let's just take more than one. Good. So we're gonna try to defeat Carl. Okay, so it's miss. Nice. Nice one, Carl. Okay, so we're losing quite a lot of troops. So we're gonna fall back a bit and try to take the fort. So we're gonna be more wise. Okay, increase the attack. Okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. I need that. Okay, we're gonna take this back. Like I said, good. I'm gonna try to kill off some of our, our uh, low health and uh, I'm gonna do it. Okay, rifleman, good. Another rifleman, very nice. I'm gonna try to get away with this. Good, good. Okay, another one. I think we can also take. Yay, we can take this now. But the Russian's cavalry and also the Russian infantry is really, really devastating. You can see that uh, their damage are really OP. 
which I had to make sure that I have enough troops to get them out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, some good stuff here. We have done such a good progress. First of all, we expel uh, against the British naval forces. We have launched a really, really good offensive against the Russian, also the Austrian. Uh, we also have upgraded our city as well, which we can also get a lot of uh, advantages from our city. So you can see, and upgrade again, again. So most people uh, would, you know, like they would uh, overlook at this factor. So it's best that you can try to uh, take what it's good for your nation so increase the industries increase your knowledge productions and stuff so that it would be more useful when you're fighting against your enemy because you, can, you cannot always depends on you know some sort of different kinds of you cannot just depend on general like uh, what i'm trying to say uh, generals is good having a lot of forces is better okay so we got increasing income i will go with that one okay and i'm gonna fall back uh, i will let them take the city okay Okay, so we're gonna try to take the this one here. So Muhammad is also good. Uh, he got the salvo, also artillery master, artillery experts, but he got the desert fighting. So it would be great to have in in the desert, but not at here. Here is a bit different, you know. It's kind of uh, different sites. Okay, so we're gonna move. So these guys gonna taste some mess. Okay, we lost quite a lot of this. Okay. Very nice. Okay, we're gonna use everything against uh, the other one as well. Turn good. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so uh, looks like he just got back to his uh, palace. Okay. So sometimes cavalry is also great. So it's best to have cavalry. And by the way, try to use all your units at their greatest point. You know why? Uh, because it will do it best. Okay, 75. Damn. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh, dang it. Uh, I might lose these guys. I will. If I lose them, I will spawn another one. Okay, I got a Mamluk here. Good. Rifleman. So these are the concepts of uh, you. You don't really just need a general. You need a perfect troops to get out and also take out the enemies. Most people would complain. I know a lot of people complain. Uh, European wars. Is hard. I know it's hard, but it all is only need a good understanding to understand the concept. Okay. So we're doing a pretty good job, though. Uh, we haven't lost any city yet, and we are doing great. We are pushing toward the northern front. Okay, so Sadina defeated. I think the French did it again. And it looks like the British failed to invade, I guess. I mean, just look at the uh, troops. Okay, I shall take Vienna. Great. And you can see the morale drop. And we're gonna take and uh, be more defensive. Uh, okay. Take this one. Okay, I think they're gonna be defeated. Not yet. I think they still have. They still have one more city at Prague. Anyways, our goal is the other man's law. Sixteen damage. Very nice. Okay, good.
can see the members. Oh, he's alive! Damn! So definitely means that he he he, he did manage to kill that cavalry. Sorry, that infantry. Okay, so we are doing great. Great forward. Okay, fly infantry. So that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I was supposed to do uh, 20, but just do 17 because there's so much to gotta. Okay, so we're gonna try to take half of Europe and also annex Russia as Ottoman Empire. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, see you guys next time.